How's it going, everybody? Zoic Meister Patrick here, joined today by Zoic Meister Adam. How's it going? Today, we're playing the demo for Slay the Princess. Uh, Adam's playing because I wanted him to try playing this game. I know nothing about it. He knows even less about it, so this should be fun. Yeah, so I guess we just jump right in? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. All right, we're starting the game. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. I think we're the hero, or you're the hero in this game? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Okay. And in the basement of that cabin, is a princess. Oh. I think we can turn off the voices if you'd rather us do the voices. You're here to slay her. Uh, if you don't... No, I like this. Okay. I feel like it'll be a good way for us to comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over. Okay, so um, so oh. here are your options. It's, it's a point and click... Kind of, not point and click. What's this called? The virtual visual novel game? Yeah, yeah, or? visual novel. So what do you want to do next? You can explore the end of the world. What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Uh, killing a princess seems like a bad, it's kind of bad though, doesn't it? Uh, can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la something. <laughs> Viva la revision. Viva la revision. Or you can just silently continue the game. Oh, having some issues here. Select. Do you see this? Uh, yeah. Can't tell what's supposed to be highlighted. I, yeah, I, I did. This game seems to have some problems. <laughs> I could try going mouse and keyboard, and then you just tell me what to do if you'd prefer. I'm going to silently continue to the cabin. Okay. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not mm. gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking that about. Oh, so, okay, so- Voice of the hero? So the voice of the hero's not, not us? you? Yeah, essentially, but you like make decisions for the hero? I'm, I'm curious to see where this goes. Okay, proceed to the cabin, so I think you can do. Makes it easy. Hmm. I like it so far. Yeah. It's a nice art style. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Hmm. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Hopefully we, like, took a blade with us, right? As, did we not come prepared for this at all? I guess not. The blade is your implement. Oh. You'll need it if you want to do this right. That's crazy. All right, well, are you going to take the blade or are you going to enter the basement oh. without the blade? I mean, it can't you hurt to have it, right? The table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Right, I, I guess. I feel like we should have brought a blade with us. Now you can only enter the basement. So explorer feels like it doesn't advance. You can explore a lot before and it doesn't really do anything. The door to yeah. the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Mm. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <laughs> you would say that. Is up the <laughs> stairs. Who's there? Who's there? She sounds dangerous. <laughs> that she really changed the show. <laughs> down here. That is seductive. I don't know. It's all I was kind of into it. Wow. In more ways than one, oh. I guess. Wow. Oh. I guess so. Uh, so those are all the things you can say. Hi. Just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Or silently continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. Oh, okay. There she is. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Right. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. <laughs> <laughs> and there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what, what was the? Yeah. What are the like scary movies? Oh, am I supposed are? to die am now? Am I supposed to die now? But yeah, that's what they're supposed to What am I gonna like, break my leg lag. when I run away? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have a couple voice options. What? No way. Or did you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. Nah, no. Nah. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Or you steal your nerves and step forward. Silent. Hmm. 
so many options. There is. I haven't decided yet. Drop the knife, and the two of us just talk. Hmm. I feel like I'd rather keep the knife Look after you say that. Look how she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Yeah. So drop it or tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. Tighten? What is this, attack on Titan? You can continue. <laughs> you poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Okay, well. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. It feels like we're equidistant. I feel like we haven't moved. <laughs> I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And not and necessarily. If that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Yeah, oh why didn't boy. we bring a bigger weapon? <laughs> yeah, I don't think a stick I could <laughs> If I have a stick I could tie this to or something. And... Yeah, yeah, make it a so, pull arm. You should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. I mean, she's do got a point. conviction in her voice? Do you see the razor sharpness in her gaze? I don't think she's bluffing. It's hard to see it from here. I wish we'd step forward. Arm. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Who are you, narrator? How do we know you're reliable? Explore. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Explore. Are you sure she's not armed? <laughs> Explore. I'm sorry. Can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade or slay the princess. Well, this is the name of the game. It is called Slay the Princess. But are you really willing to slay this Honestly, less innocent sounding princess as we go along. Hmm. Yeah, check I'm and positive. make sure she's not on. Oh. Oh, well, that was quick. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Draw it. She doesn't Hesitating. have paper and a pencil, so we should be fine. Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? I don't like that she wants us to drop the knife. Like, I was originally willing. Oh, okay, you and I'd say I'm not dropping the knife or. You can drop the knife. Then I'm not talking to you. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's that. Well, she got me. <laughs> uh, fine, then. I guess we are at an impasse or squint at the princess while holding onto the blade. You stare at the princess. <laughs> Squinting. <laughs> she squints back. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she's strong. It's a squint off. <laughs> oh, man. She, she has the perfect counter. Forever, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> yes. She has the princess even yes. harder. Squint even harder. Oh, we got the squinting achievement. There so God does. At least nobody's dying right now. That's good. You're going to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, someone is going to have to blink. Are we not blinking? Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, okay. Drop the blade or slay the princess. Oh, boy. I mean, oh, really? The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. No! Don't get closer charge, now! You step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. I feel like that was a bad idea. We'll be fine. Uh, see? That, no, don't you feel yeah. stupid? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't! I know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Yeah, don't forget, you So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. I mean, this isn't much of a relationship. All right. Explore. Got a yeah, it's uh, pretty weird. Explore a relationship. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> Explore. How did I get? Wait, how would I get you out of here? Explore. I'm here because you're going to end the world. Explore. There's people out there who think you're a threat to the world. What do you have to say about that? Explore. What's your name? Explore. How long have you been there? Uh, do you know why I'm here? Okay. We've, We've talked, talked enough. enough. I say. All right, well. Which one? Are you feeling any of these? Are you, to any weird are you coming on to me? We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. I, all right. Time to look up the definition of relationship now. Stand by. Future Patrick, one throw it second. on screen. Oh, man. Define relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so according to Wordnik, I guess, 
uh, a condition, a relationship is the condition or fact of being related, connection or association. Connection by blood or marriage, a particular type of connection exists between people related to or having dealings with each other. Are we having a dealing right now, I guess? I would say so. Okay, so maybe we are in a relationship. Okay. Hmm. How would I get you out of here? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, There's people out here that think you're a threat to the world. What would you have to say to that? Don't just tell her that. Is it a secret? She doesn't know. Okay. That's cute. Do you believe that? Do you think I'm some sort of <laughs> monster? She's not doing a good job of convincing me otherwise. I don't know about you. If I'm like... supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Powerful have magic. They told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? Yeah, have they told us? Hmm. They being, I guess, the narrator. Hmm. I feel like she, she probably, I don't know. Maybe she has like evil magic, and then there's like good magic, and we have to deflect. Oh. Maybe she's like Wonder Woman. Right? She has the, the the weakness that she has no powers if she's bound by a man. That's true. That's real. Look that's, that up if you don't believe a, us. Yeah. That's her real weakness. Yeah. And also Green Lanterns is yellow. Yellow and sand and wood. And anything that has to do with fear in general. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was hoping you would tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. I we believe her. <laughs> She well, that's doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Interesting. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. I don't like her. There's each a other. reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So I was it you were talking to us? To yeah. Quiet life in the oh. woods, or that I they can't talk to her. They can only talk to her. Or that I do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. Okay. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? I mean. I let your tone isn't helping. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. That's true, I guess. Right. Now there's like yours, I though. Said, it's all about trust. Well, he's in our head, Why though. Trust. <laughs> How does that make it better? So do you trust me? Because I can't because ignore I'm him. The victim. The princess clearly incapable of ending the world. Or do you trust whoever put me here? See, that's a real question. She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. That's true. Historically, monarchs haven't been all that great. But when he says end the world, does he mean like, you know, like the British kingdom or something like that? Right, yeah, it's hard to tell. How would I get you out of here? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Or okay, we've talked it up. Well, I guess I should at least have a name. before answering. Uh oh. My name's the princess. You can address me as your royal highness. Or Her Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Really? Think about it? Again, I don't like she that. She offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Yeah, I have noticed that. True so far. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, the narrator, she seems more shifty than the narrator to me, but. Yeah, definitely. Too long. What'd you say? Oh, sorry. How long has she been down here? Oh, I say too long. Okay. That was well, quick. Um, do you want to explore that? Or? Uh, I'll explore. Yeah, let's explore. You can't. Don't bother. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. Right. Oh boy. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Right? She is. I'm sure of it. Okay. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? What do you, what do you think she was suggesting there? Uh, to cut her hand off? Yeah, you know, I was thinking just like sticking the blade in between the, the chains or whatever, but yeah, maybe just cut her hand off. You know why you're here. We do know why we're here. I don't know, anyone willing to uh, just cut their hand off is very it, easily. And it's like... Yeah. Even if she's had time to think about it, like obnoxiously, right? Yeah. 
Interesting. Someone has to come feed her, though, unless she's like an immortal god who doesn't need food, right? Exactly. But like, we don't know. Right. Getting you out of here, examine the chains. I'm going uh, to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what's going, what I'm going to do with you. Keep her locked away. Yep. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Hey. <laughs> her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. Oh. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Oh, her boy. text changed. It did. What if that matters? And if you don't, mm. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. See, I feel like I don't. I don't feel like she's being really you helpful to our own situation. Choice. Yep. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Uh. Uh. I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. Or slay the princess. We're here to slay the basement. Slay the princess. Yeah, we'll slay the basement. Okay. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a Good. choice we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. No one said anything You're about dying. a mistake. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip I think these we should have killed us. She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Wow. See? Narrator's telling you, man. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I would have committed to not slaying her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do it. No, we're we're sticking to the plan and locking her down there. But she's gonna end the world. Uh, what if she sneaks up on you and stabs you in the back? Remember when we discussed whether or not we were good people at heart? Uh huh. Yeah, that's the whole reason we, I'm having you play this and we game. We found out, yeah, that I was actually a hero, and then you were absolutely like chaotic neutral or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, she she seems sus. O she Rang, does. Orang Strat. <laughs> just because she's sus doesn't mean she's a uh, deserves death, right? I yeah. I don't know, you know. All we know is the narrator says she's going to end the world, and that when we said, well, what if we just keep her from killing anyone? The narrator said that's not going to help. Her existence will end the world. Like, what if it's not even her? What if like a de demonic entity is like coming for her? And it's going to like rip the world apart if she's left alive, and like she has nothing to do with it. But I don't know. We don't know. You're sticking to the plan, or are you gonna kill her? Well, I figure, right? Cut her head off. <laughs> Even if I don't want to kill her, this sounds like I'm not gonna get any answers. Whereas if I go back in there, I might be able to peruse my way into some stuff. Mm. It's never too late to do the right thing. Now hurry. You charge the princess, blade in hand, but unfortunately your earlier suspicions proved correct. A blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. Oh. Blood sprays from the cut, your severed carotid artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You'd better finish your task quickly before you run out of time. Well, that went a lot quicker than I thought. With the last <gasps> bit of your will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the princess's heart. We have bird hands. Do we? Yeah. Look, you have feathers on your arm and you have like, you have like scales on your hand. Do I? It's kind of hard to make out. Maybe that's just like my fleece, and maybe it's just a dirty little pan. I don't know. I think you're a bird man. Let's find out. Let's see, oh. Yeah, let's see what happens. The two of you collapse on the floor together. She looks happy about it. bleeding out. Somehow, I thought this would turn out a little differently. But I wonder, do you really think that this was enough to stop me? Uh, oh, narrator yeah, promise. Okay that razor-sharp look in her eyes and the terrifying conviction in her words. Maybe she's just like that. But you don't have the time to worry over such things. Everything goes black and you die. Oh. Uh, Did you see the achievement that popped? No, I didn't. It's called The Real Save the Princess You're Starts Here. Path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. What is happening? In the basement of that cat. Did you just start over? But we're chapter princess. two now. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I thought we 
Oh, but it was the end of the world, I guess, right? Because that that chapter ended when we killed her. Maybe we don't want the world to end. No, wait. But then we we didn't we did kill her, but the world ended anyway. But okay. we died, so it's hard to tell. I don't know. Let's uh, maybe that was all just us stressing out and thinking of what might. Oh, terrible happen. sense of deja vu. It's first option here. And then wait, wait. Hasn't this happened already? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, no. But I died. What am I doing? This is like literally all yeah. the questions. Okay. You just, <laughs> yeah. She's going to kill me again. Yeah. But I already slew the princess. Sure. She also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here? <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, that that <laughs> one. in the cabin. Okay, so let's ask this. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. Ah. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, are we sure we don't want to turn around and hightail it? The heck are you? I really don't want to be stabbed to death again. So we're the flinching. Not the hero, not the narrator, but the flinching. Maybe we're not that guy either. Maybe. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. She's very armed. But that's exactly what you told us last time. But as soon as we tried to slay her, she, she just started stabbing us to death. Yeah. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons. <laughs> So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. Mm. You'll do just fine. I'm starting not just narrator now. Interesting. Okay, let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Is That's this a cabin true. or turn around? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll <laughs> hold you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. That's fair. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Mm. Interesting. We did exactly what you said. I wouldn't say that. Sounds to me like you probably had some kind of elaborate night. <laughs> in which case, I shouldn't be held accountable for what supposedly <laughs> happened. Mm. But congratulations, you've been given a chance to actually do this right. Uh, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Mm. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We stabbed the princess, the princess stabbed us, and now everyone's right back to where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Hero's got a good point. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Who cares what happened to everyone else? We should do what we <laughs> to save ourselves and just get out of here. Ah, so he's the embodiment of our fear. Yeah, I guess so. The flinch versus the hero. The narrator is the embodiment of our rational decision making. And it looks like the hero is the voice of our morals. And then the flinch is our, yeah, our, our like, fear. fear. Yeah, okay. You do realize that but it's not the voice of the narrator. Everyone includes you, right? So I think the narrator is not a. Turn around and leave. I don't think we're I, any of these as well as everyone else. I think we are like the player, <laughs> like we're disembodied, but they are all talking to us. She just caught us by surprise last time. She can't do that twice. So long as we're careful, we can win this. Now the voice of the mm -hmm. hero is entirely against her. That's the. Spirit. I mean, she did kill us, but we did try to kill her. But we didn't know we were trying to kill her. No time at all. You just wanted to go back. Uh, let's talk about this princess, or proceed, or just be turn quick around. About it. Oh, you could turn around. I uh, I asked about her. What is? Oh, he just said, "Just be quick about it." Oh, okay. Um, like I said, if she I clicked you, on, she killed us last time. How can I make sure that doesn't happen? Don't I say, talk to her, don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. But she had a knife. I don't think that's gonna help. Get stabbed, please. <laughs> Interesting. Um, all she did was stab me. How can someone like that end the world? She just can. That's not very she's helpful. Still only a princess. You're fully up to the task you've been given, so long as you remember that. Okay. You're being mm. cagey. What locked are you telling me? <laughs> People locked her in that basement. Yeah, I don't like that. I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. <laughs> don't overcomplicate things. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. overcomplicate things. Yeah, they're gaslighting me, man. Yeah. Uh, can't they slay her? <laughs> is it followed on me? Uh, you're uh, being cagey. Hmm. Look, I'm not supposed to say this. But it's because you're special. 
Wow. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. I have no trust. Oh. I didn't know we were special. <laughs> of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Interesting. Being special didn't stop us from getting killed last time. <laughs> Flinching's got some good points. Uh, I I feel like we should see if there's more. I don't I think he'll give it to us. But... you need to know. Yeah. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. You didn't tell us about her knife last time, though. Right. That's because she's unarmed. And more <laughs> than it's because there wasn't a last time. <laughs> Great. Now, if oh. you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Interesting. You could turn around and leave at any time. <laughs> A warning before you go any further. Yes, I could, huh? She will lie. Yeah, she will she'll cheat. cheat. Yeah, we know she this. will do everything in her power to stop you. I mean, we could just, like, her. try to speedrun slaying her this don't time. Don't believe a word she says. Or we could go with the original plan of, like, locking no, her away forever. can't go in there. Do either of you feel sick? Because I feel sick just thinking about that place. We're going to die again, and I bet it's going to hurt. It won't it's hurt us. Careful, <laughs> but you're really not helping with all that talk about death and dying. Agreed. Just ignore that clown and stay focused. It's interesting, all these different voices. Yeah. Am I the crazy one? I mean... I mean, now that Fletchling's here? Right. The interior oh. of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. <laughs> There's also a mirror now. Implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. There wasn't a mirror before. Ooh. Oh, approach the mirror is an option. Yeah. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Yeah. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. Oh, no. That it's narrator's definitely. very unreliable. There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this noise. It's interesting. Hmm. I don't care about whether we lie to, I care. As do I. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. <laughs> Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you uh, waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. That sort of work. Ooh. This whole cabin's different than last time. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. <laughs> I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Uh, it's how we check the Ooh. mirror. I want to see if we look like a bird man. You or walk Kenku up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. <laughs> there isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Yeah. You reach <gasps> forward and see? rub your hand against the cabin wall. Who am I? I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was and there's no mirror? Ago. Oh, oh, yeah. And now it's gone. For the love of everything, can we just get this over with already? All this waiting is killing me. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to take the blade with you, you this time? Ooh, okay. The table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Because it would be interesting, I guess, the difference of, like, okay. if we never brought the blade. Holding it. Yeah. Holding it feels a little better. <laughs> Maybe we can make it through. Get him, Flinchling. The music's creepy. We've got a lot of achievements, surprisingly, for a demo. <laughs> yeah. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. I'm tempted to get the frick air. This is I really know. convincing me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this might be the, like, the greatest more. demo reel, like, yeah, this is like split second. This is a lot going on. I, I keep forgetting we're just in a demo. It's like, yes, uh, it just feels like the game. It has an almost Good. metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. <laughs> Stop. That's right. Scraping. I told you she has something. I told you. Hello. That sound could be anything. It's probably <laughs> just chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There's something yeah. wrong with that voice. I can hear her bloodlust. 
okay. Oh. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. This is very different. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody, quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. We're not falling for it. She's tricking us. Can't you hear that threatening edge to her voice? She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Then it'll all happen again. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. It does, yeah. Kinda what are hinter. you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? I feel like she was saying different things before, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh! A blade's in her arm? That's the end? Woo! Wow. What a weird game. Heavens. Thank you for playing. There's 10 routes and one ending to find in the demo and many more ways to die. Um, There's 10 endings in the demo? Want oh more my. content? Episodes 1 through Ten 4 routes. of Scarlet Hollow are not out now. Wish list or join the Discord. That's crazy. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This convinced me to get the game. <laughs> Did a good job. Wow. I wish it wasn't so, uh, like, bad of a game. <laughs> like, the, you know, uh, the, like, settings. Uh, I guess I'll tell people now. Uh, we're kind of playing, like, zoomed out in windowed mode because we couldn't get the full screen to work. Um, maybe we'll do, like, a quick flash of that. But, uh, Not if I, uh, go in real quick and... You, what, are you gonna try loading the game, I'm or...? i kill. <laughs> Wait, what does load game do? Oh, we didn't save not one time. Oh, I see. Okay. I see, I see. Those are like safe slots. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, go ahead and yeah, do what you gotta do. So yeah, go over the questions while I uh, load this bad boy in. All right. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay her. Rip her head off. I think you want me to... Yeah, I think it's because your, your things are down there at the bottom. I don't know why it looks like that, though. You want me to, like, move the mouse to... No, oh, we're good. You're just going to go straight for the You game. make your way yep. up the short path to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, question one. one. Was this demo enjoyable as a standalone experience? Yes. Yeah, this was really engaging. It was so <laughs> cool. I was, uh, I was very... I was gripping the edge of my seat. Yeah. It's not even drawn well. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, it's drawn well. It looks good. It's I can't well. draw like this. I like the style. No color, but I like the art style. I, I can draw like this. If you want to do... Uh, did this demo do a good job of being a sales pitch for buying the full game? I think, think so. Yeah, I feel like this yeah. was really cool. Did the demo sufficiently showcase all core aspects that the full game has to I offer? I would say so. I, I mean, it's hard to tell. I mean, it left on a story game. beat. But, right. Like, I feel like this is definitely what the game is. Yeah. And we got the idea that, like, oh, things are repeating, but they're changing and stuff like that. And things like, aren't what they seem. Who do you right. trust? Yeah. I think a lot of the, like, core things are, are there for sure. This was a really good demo. It, it was. And it's still free on Steam, I think. We played it on Steam. Good. Yeah. Still listening to reason. Yeah, it's curious if you follow all the narrator stuff, if he'll just be like, you probably didn't follow what I said. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the prince. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus There's the voice the of the hero for the first time again. Yep. Can't wait, you can And jump. there Sorry. you are. Yanni. Are you here to kill me We had breakfast, but something? no coffee. Although yeah. Adam had coffee. I didn't know. You gotta kill me or something? Seal your nerves and step forward. You step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Man, this must be intricate to like decide where uh, dialogue lines go. Yeah. Also, it, there might be, there must be so many different audio lines for this. Yeah. Well, it's all almost all audio though, right? I mean, the the drawings and stuff are mostly simplistic, oh. like wavy. And yeah, it looks like it's only one or two, three frames, Fine. like bouncing back and forth. What right. And makes you think you can. Kill and a lot of this, I feel like you could just draw it once and then just add like a wavy filter that slightly alters to make it look like it's moving. Yeah. Maybe just take the same frame and then move it slightly to the left and then kind of bounce back. Right, something I'm like that. You're going to have to redraw. Basement for a reason, right? And if that's so, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Yeah, you can you can stab me. We know that. Conviction in her voice. We're a bird person, dude. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, that was crazy, right? If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. Uh, slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Oh, shoot. You feel flesh oh, wow. easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. 
<laughs> this is it, isn't it? Uh, what's the I'm idea? I'm embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Well, this was way more successful. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Were you really Once approaching again, me, Shaggy? That razor sharp <laughs> in her eyes and the terrifying conviction in her words. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? I don't know. I like that we didn't die this time. Of course it is, she's dead. I'm uh, not sure. I feel like she has some kind of dark trick up her sleeve, or of course not. That was too easy. I mean, yeah, trick up her sleeve maybe? Or just dead, whichever one. It's over. You could check her sleeves if you want, but I can assure you that there's nothing hidden up there. <laughs> well, we should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? Oh, I she's really gonna stab us. Think you should do that. No, I don't think so either I now. Why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. <laughs> the princess <laughs> is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Um. You're right, she's dead. Let's just get out of here. Yes. Exactly. If she's not dead, though, could it's she stab over. us with the blade? With oh, that was easy. Done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door very to the basement delay. behind you. Well, that worked. I feel like we've done something terrible. No, we you saved did the world. kill someone. Hey. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. Oh, yeah, right. I, but yeah. it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Wow. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, I mean. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Oh, Instead, shoot. <laughs> what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of space. God damn it. Oh, okay. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. <laughs> Everyone is happy. Right. You'll be happy. Oh, boy. So killing the princess. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. Or I was kind of hoping I get a better ending for saving the world. I mean, it's... I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah, this isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Oh, boy. Your reward. Huh. I guess it's an all right this reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Oh. I mean... Kind of doesn't sound like... It's a, it sounds like a man. Time ending. passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. <laughs> I get if he says so. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? What else would we do? Oh, I didn't I'm hear happy. the narrator. We're I'm happy. happy. We're happy. Hell no. Do you have any idea how we can get out of here? Of course we are. I like it. <laughs> Okay, Patrick, I'm at an impasse, man. <laughs> yeah? I don't know where to proceed from here. Um, I mean, explore usually doesn't do anything. I think explore is a pretty safe option. I think we can still pick the other things after we explore. Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? I don't know. Okay, see? Yeah, exactly. No, we're happy. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm pretty darn sure we're happy. Uh, maybe I'm not happy. I'm just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. Good. Because I have an idea to get us out of here. Though you're probably not going to like it. Throw the princess the out the window. We can use the blade to get out of this. What? Oh boy. Why? How? I can oh, hear kill ourselves? you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. I feel like they don't like that. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Okay, so now we 
kind of get an idea for what was going on in our previous run where yeah, we're in a new storyline once we die. It seems like that's a requirement of some kind. Mm -hmm. Or we could just let this blissful life go on for eternity. Do you not? Let There's more for the us to do. Death of and the the universe only way for us you. to do it is to take that blade. The absolute and entropy. Use it. <laughs> the absolute entropy of all things. Everything eventually finds its way to the most destructively low energy form. <laughs> don't you dare. And that makes me smile. Like I, I don't know. Oh boy. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of this hell. You're right, I didn't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around and do nothing, at least for a little while longer. What a relief. <laughs> I suppose we've got all the time in the world for you to change your mind. Oh, boy. More happy time passes. <laughs> More happy time. Though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not <laughs> happy still has plenty of meaning. Wow. Please I love this. shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on <laughs> deaf ears. <laughs> Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. I love this. And this ending so much nicer. Good. Pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift. You simply exist. Happy. Forever. That's nice. Yay, good ending. You did it. You saved everyone. Wow. I feel like we could get every achievement in this game just to do. <laughs> did a good job. That's well, cool. So that's the one in. <laughs> God, Patrick just punched me. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. He's like, we got the good ending and hit me hard. So there's 10 routes, but only one ending, and that was the ending. So we got the one ending that was in the demo. So, you want to make this a part two and you want to give it a go? I mean, we can make this a whole series, right? How long do you think this game possibly could be? Um, good question. Uh, this has never happened before where we just like sprang up out of nowhere and was like, and now we're playing the game. Which I mean, I guess this must be the best demo we've played then, right? Right? I, that's, I think we're like into it, it seems like. This is a good game. You're on a path. You're here. Okay, so. I want to try. Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. I want to try doing like the, the anti-route, I guess. The cabin. Leaving? You'll find the... Yo. Um, <laughs> see the cabin? No, I can't leave until the second go-round. But uh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. The interior of the cabin. Uh, I'm going to enter the basement without the place. See what happens. Interesting. Because we haven't done that yet. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a stack. I think all this is normal. Voice softly oh my god, what if she's only aggressive in response to you? What if right, she's... that's what I'm saying. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Okay. Don't let it fool you. I already forgot it's her voice. part of the manipulation. Hey. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. She has a very American voice, I think. Hi, just checking in on you. I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you. Hey, I think we're here to slay you. Continue down the stairs. Uh. I could just say hi. You could. Here to save you. You could. Or I don't know what the second option would entail. Just different. chicken in on you. Yeah, maybe see what your response is to that. I feel mean. Let's let's go like full nice princess. Like let's assume the narrator's just lying through his teeth. Okay. Um, I'm here to save you. Times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? I think you're lying. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Don't Come worry about it. Downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. I'm an ugly bird man. Hopefully that doesn't break the <laughs> deal. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. That's her. She's yeah, wait a beautiful. second. If she had a knife the whole time, why didn't she cut her own hand a off? Threat to anyone. Interesting. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen. 
forever. See, I kind of believe her in the forever department, you know? Yeah. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Uh... Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer. Yeah, I wonder if there's a the secret end. key somewhere that we're missing. I doubt it. I think I think there's everything we've oh, seen. What if what if the end of the world just is the game? And if you rescue her, that's just the end of the game. Right, that's why I'm, I'm curious. I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. I mean, it's not like she's gonna randomly stab us, right? Difficult. What does that help? I if she if she you. does. I wanna try turning Thank around. You. You're making a huge mistake. Oh boy. No. You're doing the right thing. Yay. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. <laughs> they come right off. Yeah, it was, that was surprisingly easy. You even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Hmm? Not at the moment. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Right. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. I mean, where else would you leave them, I guess? I guess throw them in a river or something? Uh, and if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, I can at least find something to break it free. Uh, should I ask if she has any ideas? Yeah. Yeah, right? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? That's what I'm thinking. You can never break the chains. That's what Fleetwood Mac taught me. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I have no it's idea who that is. I guess we can always cut me out of them. <gasps> And you're still here to say it, and you will never break the chains. Yep, she never. offers the suggestion really? of almost complete nonchalance. Well, I mean, she's probably desperate and hungry. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure yeah. we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. Right. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the oh, stairs boy. slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. That's different. Very different. Is someone else here? Uh, hey, let me out of here. Try the door. Return to the bottom of the street. I guess tr try the Why not, door, right? right? Yeah, what if you it's... Try the door, but it's locked from the outside. It, okay, uh, hey. Shouts and pleas are met with silence. That's unfortunate. You're here to slay the princess. It really is. And you won't leave until the task is done. Oh. You think the narrator... Close the door and lock yeah, it? Yeah, okay. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were oh, supposed to. Oh yeah, you to. don't even have the blade. No, because I i mean, I figured I could just go up to the top stairs. I was expecting to lock behind easier me. for whom? Yeah, exactly. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Look at this mess. Oh, there's a song that's called, um, Life Just Give Me Lemons, But I Don't Like Lemonade. Sticky situation. Look at this mess I've made. Oh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> it's a funny song. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Who's they? And why aren't <gasps> they killing you? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. That's okay. Do you have like a knife on you? If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Uh, you have a lot of confidence in your strength there. Like, uh. She barely hesitates. Oh, okay, well, that works. Her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with a determination. Oh, my God. I would have gone for the wrist, right? Wouldn't you have gone for the wrist? Yes. Okay. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. Oh. It's the blade from upstairs. Oh, that's convenient. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. All right, Patrick. <laughs> you're, in a, use it to free you're in quite the pickle yeah, now. I mean, we could free her. You don't like what happens if you do that. I'm starting to think I will like what happens, narrator. I'm starting to not like, oh, save the princess is my only oh. option. Well, I, I don't have a choice. You've done one of that Resident Evil. Yeah, I? yeah. Resident Evil 5 convictions here. Against your judgment, Oh, she's so cute, though. Look at her eyes. She has her own blood on her face. She's been eating herself. It's a little cute. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely like a Kenku or something. We have like the, like... Yeah, bird hands. Bird hands. Sorry, I was not paying attention to the narrator's thing. I was too busy staring at her massive eyes. Cut into her flesh. Yeah, again, I would have started at the wrist, but like, do what you gotta. The blade is sharp. <laughs> it takes little effort oh. through the bone of her arm. Oh. Yeah, she's just real casual about this. God, the use of reds a limb falls Ooh. to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. 
Should we take that with us? A sound through the whole ordeal. <gasps> yeah, that's different. No, she didn't. She smiles. <laughs> Look at her little smile, though. Meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Is this the only way to get her out of the How chain? Is she still smiling after everything. Yeah. It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Yeah, it's probably wow. not good that she's smiling. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's go save the princess. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape. Who, who into got the world. her here in the first place? They must be really strong. I'm trying to think. The narrator got her here. I'm starting to think As it the was. Princess approaches <gasps> oh! the bottom stair. Your body steps forward and raises the blade. I guess he took over us. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Yeah. Watch me. Oh. What are you doing? Not what I want to do. I'll tell you that, princess. <gasps> oh, okay. We can either slay the princess or slay the princess or slay the princess or we can slay the princess or we can warn her. I'm going to have to use the mouse for this because I can't find my... Yeah, you kind of have to... You went down to preferences, do you see? It's kind of weird. Yeah. I'm just going to use the mouse real quick. One second. Oh, it like moves oh, around. Oh, that's, that's cool. super cool. We might play Stop. this on mouse and keyboard if we do more. <gasps> Stop that. No. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? I'm honestly not sure. We don't have very many options. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. That was not a choice. The princess dodges, stumbling <laughs> back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Oh, awesome. Cool. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. I don't believe him, right? Like, I don't know anymore. Okay, time to find warn the princess. Oh, resist. 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 The blade. Move the blade. I'd rather not. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. And she, like, Take the blade from us or something, maybe? We both know this isn't you. Right, it's not me. It's the narrator. I'm the good guy. I'm the bird boy. Adam's the one that killed you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. Yeah, you're a super what bird person. What are you doing? I think she should like, yeah, I like this. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Wait, no, I don't like this. <laughs> She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Why'd she have to go and do that? Oh no, I'm so sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. I guess so. For her sake? For her sake. Uh, don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. I mean, it kind of You've literally doomed everyone. <laughs> Whatever. She sinks the blade so two of us. into your chest. Yeah, so we're definitely again, not. Okay. And again and again. And really? You feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Man, can you believe this up? People just used to kill each other? <laughs> this is horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was not expecting this. It's a really aggressive ending. Oh she doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? I, 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 in our first ending, she seemed to know how to use a knife. Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. That's fair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like there were other ways. <laughs> Man, she gave you the business. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. She ate her arm. The princess stares I mean, down she at started eating her arm, yeah. Tears she didn't eat the whole thing. Of pink down her blood spattered cheeks. Oh, poor princess. She had to kill some guy who tried to save her. She didn't have to, though. It can't just end like this, right? No. Oh, that's rich coming from you. <laughs> as much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Look, she looks so remorseful, though. I don't know why she felt the need to kill us. 
could have just taken the knife and oh. like walked away. Chapter two, the damsel. Do we get a different chapter two You're this time? On a path in the woods. Wait, this is what I really wanted. Path. It's like you're here to- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Turn around and leave? Yeah. Are we running away? <gasps> what are you doing? The smitten. We have to save her. Okay, so we get a new voice every time we get an ending. That's how it works. Interesting. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? I think we're about to find out. Okay, fine. You're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and I'll slay the princess. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her. Maybe I won't. I guess we'll see. Yes, I definitely know where I'm going. Nope. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. <laughs> I'm not going to the cabin. <laughs> I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. I'm gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. Uh, quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. I kind of want to just like I know persist, yeah, right? Yeah. Because I was really tempted by the no or the this one. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. I think that's by design. <laughs> I, I think so. Still, still Quietly your, or the? Steal your, your resolution. Yeah, yeah. Just quiet? Yeah. Okay. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Nice. That's strange. Uh, oh. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Is this what you wanted, uh, Patrick? No. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Don't like this that. This is such a cool game. Turn around again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? Yes. It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Forever. Uh, I don't care. I'm not killing a princess. Good. Maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. Quietly continue down the path. Um, I'm worried this one's the wrong way, so... I mean, but are you okay with any of the other ones? Uh, maybe everyone should die. I don't care. I'm not killing a princess. I guess that's kind of the route I'm taking. Killing is such a gauche phrasing and completely ignores the bigger picture. Your task is to slay the princess because she's terrible and she's really got it coming to her. I don't believe you now, right? Huh? But fine. We're back. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Perfect. Oh, would you look Damn. at that? You're in the <laughs> no. cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have Ooh. to say... Patrick, this is quite like the... the universe uh, itself is doing its best. This is quite the uh, confrontation. confrontation. Yeah. He's right, you know. At least about the universe bringing us back here. It's our destiny to <laughs> save her from this place. I really didn't work out last time. You don't even know her, I assume he meant to say. Uh, okay. There's no fighting this, is there? I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again, in fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this. Yeah. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. How strong is she? I... And here we go. As you <laughs> the woods, something strange starts to happen. Oh, is that the cabin in the background? Cabin, yeah. yeah. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. That's scary. But <gasps> okay. you start to realize that those flickers oh my goodness. were just a trick of light. Okay. In every direction, Great. there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin an infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back oh to where my god to be this is getting intense it again it is i don't know how every single enemy we get to somehow manages to be like equally interesting and different wait what's going on but you're too stubborn for that aren't oh you? hero he hasn't been on the thing for a minute yeah paths or cabins appear around you you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world what i mean i'm just trying to not deal with the princess you've doomed us all you know that right but of course you do otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death 
I mean, that wasn't my intent. It's infinite cabin. Track of just how oh, you got the note. Aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. Nope, trophy. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Oh, cool. We got the end of the world ending. Okay. Well, that was interesting for sure. This game seems to have a lot going on. It's good. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with this. I think we should end our demo reel here. Yeah, no, that was fantastic. That 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 was a surprise. It was a uh, rank A demo, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, if that exists. All right. Well, until then, zoink out. Yeah, zoink out. <laughs>